Well, we are at 13 June 2022 and Bitcoin is looking pretty bad. Ethereum is looking even worse. We are at 1366 on Ethereum and uh, 25696 on Bitcoin. Man, this is a definite, this is a, a crypto apocalypse. This is the crypto winner. This is the bear market. What are you going to do? Are you going to hold? Are you going to sell what you got? Or are you just going to ride it out? Nobody knows. It's up to you. You got to figure out what works best. You got to work. Oh, my God. You got to figure out what works best for you. Uh, yeah, it's looking pretty bad. I didn't think it was going to be this bad again, but this is like 2017 all over again, where uh, crypto, especially altcoins, which are poop coins, the old shit coins of altcoins, uh, they'll drop 85%. And uh, yeah, it can always get really bad. So nobody knows what's going to happen here. The uh, equities markets, the stock markets are also in the crapper as well. Uh, I don't know what to say about it. I have no idea. I'm just mining. I had the rig shut off for a few hours a day just to let the house cool down and uh, not overtax the AC. I don't know if that was the problem, but it is getting hot out. And maybe I'm kind of hoping Ethereum goes to proof of stake or profitability keeps dropping just so I can turn these rigs off for good. I don't know. They're not. The profitability is looking really bad. We're under uh, one, about one cent per mega hash uh, mining Ethereum profitability. Not looking good. Anyway, uh, what else you want to talk about today? Uh, let's just talk about what I am doing. I'm trying to at least get my Bitcoin payout on my CPU rigs. How am I doing that? I am not using Unminable. I am not using NiceHash. Both of them use Monero algorithm XMR, to, um, which is RandomX, to uh, mine for the CPU guys. And uh, that's okay. But doing my calculations on my hash rate and Zerg pool, uh, that is not the most profitable algorithm for my rigs for the Ryzen 9 3900s, 3950s, etc. So again, I did a video before about how I calculate that. You got to know your hash rate, guys. Just take one of your CPUs. If you have a, all similar CPUs, you can just run one and you can come over to ZergPol and run it against the algorithm of choice, the algorithm du jour. Uh, I guess that means French of the day, I guess. Who knows? Let's go. So here, these are Ryzen. Oh, what do we got here? These are Ryzen 9 3900Xs, most of these. And I get about 4.3 kilohash on Ghost Rider. So I jot that down. It goes between 4 to 6, but you take the average. And there you go. Then what I do, I go down to the algorithm on Zerg Pool. Here is... Here is the pool status, right? You got to go through. I sort it by number of miners. I don't know. I figure, what is everybody else mining? And then I calculate. Because if people aren't really mining it, I don't know if it's, I don't know. I just sort it this way. You can sort it any which way you want by clicking on the column. It ain't rocket science. But just knowing how to use the tool, you just got to basically brute force your way through it. Do the work and you'll learn how this crap works. Otherwise, you can sit back and listen to other people and trust what they're saying is right. Again, I always say do your own research. Listening to me is not doing your own research. It's kind of listening to me and get ideas. Am I an idiot? Am I right? It's up to you. You got to prove me right or wrong. I can say two plus two is 10 and you go, oh, two plus two, 10. No, you got to go say, no, that dude's wrong. I'll do my own. I did my own research. Now nah, I'm not going to listen to that guy. Here's a better way it works for me. That's why I say do your own research. I know some people don't understand what that means. It means use your own brain to say, hey, this guy said something. Doesn't make sense. Okay. Yeah, let's go with it. All right. Enough crap. So what do I do here? I go to Ghost Rider. I say, what's the uh, current estimate, which is 0 0.00312 kilohash right there, baby, on the profit factor. You got to know where to look and you got to get the right units because it could be a gigahash. It could be in kilohash. It could be in megahash. You got to know. You got to know. And I always convert things and make sure we are all in kilohash. So if this little puppy right here is megahash, you got to, you know, divide that puppy by 1,000. There's going to be 0 .00, whatever, 0 0.004895 is the estimate. And I multiply that by the hash rate you saw up here on your rig. And you go through each algorithm. You're going to have to do the work. I know it sucks. I know a lot of people are lazy and don't want to do the work. It's not that hard. Spend a few hours and pick the CPU coins you think are profitable. And then put them in a spreadsheet. Multiply your hash rate by either current estimate the last 24 hours or 24 hours, pick whatever you want. Uh, you can see the estimates pointed out through until it's not really accurate. So it gives you a ballpark, a warm little fuzzy, like a little furry, your own little pet furry, if you're into that stuff, but I'm not. 
uh, gives you your own little pet furry uh, estimate number you can uh, calculate. And you may think, well, they're Rocco Taco. Veros Hash has a estimate higher than Ghost Rider, so it must be the best one to mine. Well, no, not exactly true, because it all depends on your hash rate on that algorithm. It's all different. I don't really overclock my CPUs. I don't want to fry them. I'll do GPU overclocking because I, I don't know, I played around with that enough. And uh, but this, I just let them run uh, as is, out of the box, fresh car, new car smell CPUs. Uh, so what I do, I'll take the cache rate if I run it on Barris hash, multiply it by the estimate, and you'll get a number, a fractional number, and I just go, oh, 0.01. So in the end, Ghost Rider always seems to be winning over um, the other algorithms for CPU mining. What usually comes close, crazily enough, if that's a word, crazily, is the old Minotaur X. And uh, that is actually a close second. So sometimes if I see I'm not getting that many coins, uh, many rewards mining the Ghost Rider, I'll actually add a couple rigs on the Minotaur X mining all the coins. Not just one. I mine the most profitable coin just by specifying all three coins. I don't do Avian because I think that's, that's a waste of time and effort. They were formerly Raven Coin Lite. And I was in their Discord, and I was going to join the dev team, but I, I don't know. I just, they keep, when you change your name around and do crap like that, you lost interest. Sorry. Next. Uh, I do own Avian. No, no, do I? I do have Avian. Oh, well. I got a bag of Avian. What a waste of energy that was. So I'll hold Avian. Same with some other stuff I've been speculating mining, getting a couple coins here and there. Yeah, it's, gonna, it's not going to amount to much, but I was just learning. So anyway, I will mine uh, Minotaur X as well and mine both coins and it'll pick the most profitable coin on the algorithm uh, and put your rigs on that at the time. That's what's cool about Zergpool. And I do it all to the yummy Bitcoin guys. If anything, if you have not learned anything from these uh, bear markets, this crypto apocalypse is that Bitcoin is king. I put everything in Bitcoin. Again, I hate to say it, but not financial advice. You guys should know that. Do what you think is best for you. I'm just saying what I would do. And this is what I am doing. Uh, take it as it is, man. If you don't like it, well, do what works for you. I don't really care. Uh, you're all in it to make money. I'm just doing what I can do to make whatever money I can and stack coins. All right. It's YouTube, guys. You got to figure it out for yourself. But sometimes these videos can help you a little bit. And uh, maybe I can learn from you guys. But I've been getting a lot of spam in my freaking YouTube comments. Com uh, YouTube is great at censoring people for wrong think, but boy, they sure cannot stop bots from spamming your comment section. So I really can't even respond anymore. It's just too much crap in the uh, comments. It's kind of useless. Uh, just commenting on YouTube is useless. Just don't waste your time. Uh, but you can give me a thumbs up if it helps. I don't really care. I'm not monetized. I just do this for fun to kill a couple minutes before I go back and uh, play my guitar where I make lots of money in my band. And I'm pretty well known, guys. So I don't know. You can figure out who I am if you look hard enough. Anyway, uh, let's rock and roll. Oh, my God. What am I talking about? Wallet. Let's go to the wallet. Rock and roll, baby. Rocks and roll. Rocks and roll. All right. What am I doing here? I don't know why Monero is still hanging out there like a turd. I was mining Monero to see what my hash rate was, but it's still hanging out there. All right, we got everything Ghost Rider. I was trying solo mining, but uh, I just did not feel comfortable letting my rigs just sit there spinning and hopefully, hoping with a lot of hopium, hopium for a solo block. And let's see, I can click on that uh, Ghost Rider algorithm and I can see what's been coming in. Uh, one came in about 21 minutes ago. I don't know who got that. Would I have gotten it? It's all luck, baby. But you can actually score big. You get 3750. Uh, in this case, it'd be BTRM, which is BitTorium. Kind of another useless coin, but you mine it for profitability, and you get paid out in Bitcoin. Uh, that's my lot. That's my strategy, man. Bitcoin is king. Stack satoshis, and if you can hold it for a couple of years, you may all right. You may be all right, unless the government shuts it all down. Then we're all we're all we're all out of luck. But anyway, what are you gonna do? All right. So what are we doing here? What are we doing? I have again everything pointed on the Ghost Rider algorithm. This is the uh, command you put an XM rig on the password line. You basically say C equals Bitcoin. That is the coin you want to get the payout in. All right, then you got to meet a minimum if you're going to specify Bitcoin. They set minimums once a week on what you got to get to get that yummy payout. Uh, MC is mine coin, and you can say put all the coins in that uh, Ghost Rider algorithm. I put them all, so I put Bittorium and Eratorium, and the Zerg pool is smart enough to go pick the most profitable for you, which is kind of cool. So it's like an, its own nice hash 
without being nice hash. Again, nice hash and uh, unmindable both use the random X. This guy algorithm, so you're fixed at that. I ran my hash rate on this and it still comes in less than the ghostwriter algorithm. Makes sense? See how that works? Hash rate times estimated profitability will give you your best performer. Holy crap, this video is already 10 minutes long. Man, all right, let's end this real quick. So here we go, most profitable coin. I'm at, uh, been getting Bitorium again. Look, I'm only getting 567. If I want to be a high roller and waste electricity, I could try to get 37. 50 Bitorium mining solo. I don't have the guts right now. I really just want to get to 100% here, which is going to be like 40 bucks. You know, 40 bucks is 40 bucks of Bitcoin. Could be a million bucks one day. I don't know. Who knows? Could be zero. Uh, so I'm 55% uh, in. Bitorium has been my winner. And you can kind of see all my mining rigs. I'm minus one right now. I got to fire it up. Uh, I was cleaning everything. I shut everything down. I cleaned all the, uh, what do you call those damn things? Uh, heat sinks and uh, fans on the GPUs, blew them all out, made a big dust storm, and uh, blew out the CPUs as well, the heat sinks, nice and clean. Again, wore a mask, because God, who knows what's in that dust. Uh, but I cleaned them all out and uh, let it sit, everything cool down, gel for a little bit, and then fired everything back up. Uh, where are we at here? So you can see the stuff I've been mining. It's like Bittorium's king right now for the Ghost Rider algorithm. Been mining Bittorium, Bittorium, look at that, wow. So it looks like Bittorium has flipped into high profitability uh, yesterday, I got a huge, a huge reward on um, Raptorium, which was awesome. It wasn't a solo block. It was a nice, yummy uh, slunk of uh, Raptorium. So, yeah. But then, like, if I go and I see, like, this is 90 minutes. Oh, I just, no, this has been mining. Yeah. So this is 90 minutes, two hours. I start seeing these large times like this. I may flip three or four rigs to the next profitable algorithm. And that's been Minotaur X for me. And again, they come in every few minutes. So while the other ones are kind of idling and all this stuff, I may mine and get like 0.0028 instead of 0.003. You see what I'm doing there? I'm just trying to keep keep the uh, spigot flowing, keep the crypto rewards flowing to get closer to that 100%. It may take another two weeks to get there at this pace. I don't know. I'm pretty. I'm probably burning more electricity than I'm going to make with this Bitcoin at this at this point, given that we are in the crapper right now. Oh, it's 26. Went back. Oh, my God. Look at that. <laughs> Falling off the cliff. Again, this is 2017, 2018 all over again. Oh, my God. Look at look at Ethereum. This is where I sold it. When I had Ethereum for a few years, I dumped it at 13. Oh, it's never going to go back up. It's never going to go above that. And then the thing shoots to 4,000. So never listen to me for any advice on selling or buying, trading, crypto. Whatever I do, I'm always wrong. And everyone says the same thing. So whoever is right, I have no idea. Uh, so that's what I'm doing today. Mining with the CPUs. Fired the GPUs back up. Uh, let's see. Yeah, things are spinning back up. Yet yeah, I got six workers online. That's, is that right? Yeah, that looks right. Uh, this number is wrong because I just fired back up. I'm trying to get to my point two payout in Bitcoin and keep stacking, stacking, stacking. Yeah, the, the original Ethereum I mined, I've been holding. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of lost money on the original ethereum i've been holding so that's the old thing do you mine and sell or do you mine and hold in the hope that things will get better uh sometimes they don't guys sometimes it can always get worse yeah all right that's all i got that's what i'm doing mining cpus right now trying to get that yummy hundred percent which is again it's chump change you can uh highlight this puppy to see where you're earned i'm earning right now wow oh i just I'm down a rig, so I'm about a little over two bucks a day mining, which is not that much uh, for these rigs. And what did I get in 30 days here so far? Up to 30 days. I've been 14 days. That's probably when I started. So I made about 20. It was a lot more to where everything started tanking again. Uh, again, all based on the value of Bitcoin. Um, yeah, not looking good. But anyway, I just want to get to the payout, and I might just shut these rigs down, these CPU rigs, and turn them off. Because I just don't want to be burning electricity for the sake of burning electricity when I can take a little, take 40 bucks right here, you know, whatever I'm going to make in two weeks and just buy the damn Bitcoin direct. I don't know. That's the strategy. Uh, you got to think about what works best. All right, I'm out. Go forth, guys. Do great things. A lot of miners are bailing. People are getting fed up. The weak hands are bailing. I'll keep mining. Um, I'll be paying for electricity. I'm just breaking even. GPUs are making a couple bucks yet above electricity cost but summer's here it's getting hot and profitability is dropping 
faster than, uh, I can't think of anything, faster than something. And it's almost the point where, eh, all right, turn everything off, clean up the room, uh, server room, make it nice and quiet, let the house cool off in the summer, kick back and wait for things to pick back up. Or uh, I don't know. I have no idea. I'm just showing you where I'm at and what I'm doing and uh, just trying to get my payouts and uh, revisit it every uh, every few days and see what's happening. All right. Take care, guys. Go, go forth. Go forth and uh, do stuff. Do great things.